what is up guys welcome back to the channel and day 73 of quarantine climbing what? it's not day 73 what it's been a week man what the f all right then well i guess welcome to day seven of quarantine are you screwing with me dude it's really only been a freaking week all right well we built a freaking problem on the side of the barn so this is that video i guess man i can't believe it's been a week all right roll the video what I mean is your finger broken, dude? Push the button yourself. It's right here. Just, well, I mean, I'm talking to the camera. You know, it's just it's a little bit easier since you're sitting there. I'm sitting, you know, that's it's just a little bit of help would be nice. Maybe all. if you pay a little bit more, I might be willing to help you a little bit more. That's all I'm saying. Man, what are you even I'm talking about? I mean, and, and this is definitely not that. Man, what? The, just roll the freaking. <laughs> So I got the holds out that we're gonna use. Which holds should I use here? I'm not sure which holds I'm gonna use yet. Here's what I wanna do. So I want to start, so I wanna start like this and go up, drop me in, bring this hand over to this one, I guess. Then right hand to here, maybe get higher foot or maybe even keep and you probably need a little bit better foot but maybe get a little bit better foot and do a final dyno up so you'd have like just a quick pull into a crimp drop knee come up to another crimp hold that one and that one and dyno up to a jug for now i think this will be pretty cool looking over the hold trying to figure out so the first move when you go up right I'm gonna go for this one right here because it's got a good like kind of lip see some of these are angled this is more of a right foot so that you can push against this side I would assume like so they've all got a different angle on them but this is the one that I'm gonna go up for blue what are you doing man <laughs> what I thought about doing is the start holds with this because it's kind of bigger so you'll start like this and then Kind of push with your left hand as you go up right i want it to be decent holds for the hands and again we don't have anything soft to fall on right now so i don't want it to be super super hard but i want it to be challenging go up right okay so the foot i think the foot's gonna have to be a little bit different see this one's kind of okay but it's like first of all it's really worn down so i want it to be a little more grippy if i could turn it the other way maybe let me see what i can do about the foot and see I don't know what other holds to use. These are all crazy looking footholds, but they're not necessarily like great. This one might be okay because it's kind of big. So the idea is you're gonna have to do a lot on your foot because you're gonna have to push against it to go out right, but then you're gonna have to turn and drop me on it to be able to bring your left hand up. So you're gonna have to like be moving your foot on it a lot. So it needs to be angled the right way, which is where I struggle because I don't set roots. So I don't know exactly the way it needs to go, but figure it out, there's only one way to learn. I think I chose that foot so you can actually like push against it and then 
go up and still like have your foot. So ideally, put your foot there, and it may actually be a little too close, but I think it'll be all right. Go up to here. Then I guess we're gonna move foot. See, I don't know, cause this foot's already here, but it's not a great foot for the angle that you're gonna be at. This foot isn't gonna be much help there. So yeah, I may add one more foot, but then once you get that, I guess you'll go right hand here, drop knee, and then left hand up. Once you get left hand up, move the feet around, bring the right hand up to here, and then go for a, a dyno. And I'm not sure about the dyno, I may try and figure something else out, but I'm gonna warm my fingers up a little bit. I haven't done anything. I was about to just try and jump on, but all these holds are kind of small. I'm not gonna try and injure myself. So let me warm my fingers up a little bit, work the bottom part of it, see how, how it goes, and then go from there. It may turn out to be crap, but you know, gotta figure it out somehow. <laughs> I got this uh, this gripper thing here, and while it's not great for like building strength in your fingers necessarily, it's really good for warming up your fingers before you climb. Usually what I'll do is, on the way there, I'll do these, and usually I'll do about 50 like this, and then when I start to get tired, I'll do 50 like this, and then finally 50 like that. And usually that on each hand on the way there will get my fingers warmed up. Then I'll do the, not sure what it's called, but the bar with a, a weight on it and you spin it and the rope winds up and then you wind it back down. I'll do that for a little while. And then after that, I do some pull-ups. Usually really only like 12 pull-ups and then I'll bring my legs up to my chest and then do pull-ups like that. Uh, do six of those and then get down and that just kind of like is getting all the muscles ready to pull me. I don't know, that's kind of my routine. I don't know if it's a good one or not, but it's the one that I use and it seems to work pretty well for me. I think that's the biggest thing in climbing is what works for you. That's a problem with like doing instructional videos for climbing because I think people are so different in the way that they do it that it's it can be an off-putting video to like say to do something that works perfect for you but it does not work for somebody else. Let me know if there's anything that you have that you know is kind of a weird thing that you do with climbing that you don't think anybody else does but you think it helps you. I know you've got one so let me know. All right I'm gonna warm up my hands and see if we can give this a go. Jesus it's windy. That one's pretty fun actually. I forgot how, how fun that was. It just wears my toes out because I, I stand with my feet like this. I need to bring my heel down more. I just, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I'm gonna try the new one, see how it goes, if it goes, and then see if I can figure out the, the last hold. Sleeping with 
I don't think it's that bad. I think me cheating with that foot down there. That's a big foot. Oh, sorry, I don't have the mic plugged in. It's gonna be really windy. Hold on. But I'm gonna leave it as a cheater because you know, someone who's not as good, if they wanna climb on it, that'll help a lot. I wanna try and do it without it, but I may end up having to add another foot. So I've got, got these feet right here that I can use. So I can actually use that green one right there. I can actually use that when I get up there a little bit higher. Last time I did like the Gaston in the crack up there. So what I did is I put, I put that orange one up there. I think that's going to be pretty cool. I think it's going to be a good climb overall. So I'm going to try it real quick, see if it'll go. I, everything else went before. I'm going to see if I can do it without using that big foothold though. That's the biggest change. And then of course the top out. So let's see if it'll go. In case you didn't see before so these are the holds that i was using the foothold is that start foot that's the other one that i said the cheater to make it a little bit easier and um, then you've got this one that you use at the end these are your start holds you go up to this one with your right then up to this one with your left and then up to that one Yeah, pretty cool problem overall though, I think. All right guys, so that's all I got. I hope you liked the video. I've obviously got way too much time on my hands, but oh well, what are you gonna do at these times right now? So I hope you guys liked the video. I really did enjoy it. I had a good time making the video. I think the problem turned out pretty well. So with all the crazy times going on, I don't know anything about it. I'm just a dumb YouTuber. So I'm not gonna try and give you any advice on everything going on right now. What I will do is send positive vibes to you and your family. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. In fact, if you made it this far, well, first of all, you have an attention span. So congrats. Second of all, leave your IG handle in the comments below and I will follow you just to show my appreciation for the support. So leave your Instagram handle below. I'll come over to Instagram, follow you. Hope you guys liked the video. Remember, do what you love. We'll you see you in the filming. Yeah. I see you figured out how to play the video yourself. We'll see you next time, guys. <laughs>